Welcome back to Golden Goose in my Road to Glory series that follows halfback James Brown, the great-grandson of the NFL legend Jim Brown. Now today, James Brown has a big feat ahead of him. He has to position battle the number one halfback here at Auburn. If he beats him, he gets the starting spot going into next week's matchup against a ranked opponent. As you can see, we're on Heisman difficulty for this position battle. I know a lot of you guys want me to go down one difficulty for the position battle, but I just want it to all be done in Heisman. Here we are, the position battle in the rain. We need 900 points to win this position. It's going to be rather tough. I mean, if we can break one big run for a touchdown, something like that, I mean, we'll be looking at the possibility of getting this starting job. But the play calling has to be a lot better. I mean, we need to get more opportunities with only 15 plays in this position battle. We just need all the opportunities we can get on the ground. 12 plays left, we need 800 points. I mean, this isn't looking impossible. Let's get to the outside, come on, get to that edge. Breaking one inside the 20, beautiful. 255 points, that's what we needed to start this one off. Oh, come on, the lineman got in the way. This halfback dive, this play actually goes for a good 10, 15 yards usually when we do it, except right now, we. We, we get tackled for four. Nine plays, I mean, we need 600 points. And, ah, oh, we get blown up instantly. Eight plays, 600 points. Come on, give us something that we can work with. Ah, that's nothing. And, oh my God, we're gonna get chased down from behind. Oh, we don't even have the ball. Six plays, 585 points, this sucks. I mean, we just don't have the opportunities. Look at this, instantly nailed in the backfield. This is worse than last time. Last time we at least made like 500 points. Maybe we will have to go on All-American. Just as I'm talking a big game about trying to do this all on Heisman. I might need to make a change to All-American. Look at they handed it off to someone else. I hate this play. This play never goes for anything. Look at that. Halfback toss. We have two plays. <laughs> two touchdowns might help us get this, but... Oh, come What? A jet sweep. I think a touchdown here wouldn't even help us get the starting job, so... Very, very disappointing. Oh my God, still on our feet, but that's not gonna help. And yeah, we failed. Ole Miss lost a game, so they're no longer ranked, but we still have an opportunity to get this starting job. And I, I think I know what I have to do. I, I, I just think this is the only way to even have a chance in these practices. We're going to go on all American difficulty, okay? Just for the practice, not for the game. But this, these practices are, are 15 plays and the play calling's crap, so we need a, a at least an edge up here. Position battle number, what is this, three now? Third attempt at winning this position, and we're getting caught up from behind, it, gaining maybe like six. Ah, this play sucks. This is what I'm talking about, the play calling. What is this? I'm gonna try to get five yards there. At least we're getting points every play. I mean, that's all that matters. We do need a big play here, though. Otherwise, we have no chance at all of securing that starting job, but that looked pretty good. That's a first down. Buck sweep. This is the kind of play calling I like to see. Uh, can we get a block? We got a block. We got 73 in front of us. Oh, make a miss. Ooh, oh, still going. That's like two broken tackles. We're still on our feet. Inside the 15. 345 points, 11 plays. I mean, hey. This is as close as we've ever been. I should have cut inside. This is the closest we've been though, and I'm feeling pretty confident. 10 plays, nice little pitch, uh, and we're gonna get taken down for a loss. It takes an hour and a half for these plays to establish, which is why we're losing yards almost every single play. And look at this. Oh, that catch was amazing, but we only get three yards. Eight plays, roughly 500 points to go. Let's get some blocks, big boys. Oh yeah, inside the 20. Now we have a chance, We're, we should be over 500 points. The load option, will we get pitched the ball? Nope, that's not gonna happen. Six plays, 400 points roughly needed. Ah, God, those screen passes are stupid. Halfback dive, come on, give me the big ones. Ah, caught up the side. Four plays, come on! Let me break one, we need 355 yards, or points. Not yards, wait, I don't even have the ball. God dang it. Three plays, 355 points are needed. I mean, we're getting the ball here. Ah, uh, that's not gonna do anything. We need a first down every time to just get the points we're gonna need. We need two big, big plays if we're going to get this starting job, which, oh God, yeah, we're not gonna get it. We would need to break this for a touchdown to have any chance 
at that starting job and just look at this oh my god keep us on the bench skill upgrades okay I mean we haven't had any good ones hit power break tackle and carrying I mean that's decent I, I mean I feel like we just had to buy one to get this out of the way let's do that it's not gonna help our overall but it's gonna make our break tackle a little bit stronger so we don't have the starting job in this game against Ole Miss Kirk is siding with Ole Miss I mean we're pretty evenly matched up but come on Auburn's at home we're three and one on the season Ooh, this is a very very even matchup I mean I, they have a little bit of an edge on us but this is going to be interesting and to start this one off it looks like Brown is going to get a chance to return one he's on his trusty left side can he break one? No. Time for Ole Miss to punt. It's still scoreless here in the first quarter. Here in Auburn, we're looking to go 4-1 and one and improve our standings in the SEC. We want to break that top 25 this season. James Brown going to return this punt. Oh, we get the block we wanted, and we get over the 30. Another punt, and this should give us a chance at really good field position and maybe a chance to be the first team to score in this game. Let's try to pump this crowd up. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna be returning this from like the 38. Oh, no blocks, but oh, we make a man miss. Oh, that was beautiful. Into Ole Miss territory. Wow, our offense did absolutely nothing with that possession, that great field position. And Ole Miss scored, it's seven to nothing. Come on, kick it to Brown. You know you want to. No, 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 give me that. Give me that, dang it. No, Walker, you know you can't do what Brown can. Wow, one play and a touchdown. That's all it took. We're tied up seven to seven. Bumping this crowd up here. Gotta get the Auburn fans on their feet. James Brown has been a very deadly returner this season. I mean, more so on the kick returns than the punt returns, but still very, very deadly and averaging over 10 yards per return on the punts too. There's a nice nine yarder. Ah, Ole Miss gets down the field. They're looking to make it 14 to seven. Four minutes to go in the first half of football. Get it to Brown. Ah, God, you guys suck. Get out of my way. Get out. Come on, Walker. Let me take one back. And Ole Miss scores again, trying to give us a two game losing streak here. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. 21 to seven. Finally, Brown's gonna get an opportunity. Kick it to the left. Yes. Oh, that one's deep though. Let's see if we can make it back. Come on. Come on, blockers. There we go. That's looking good. Eh, to the 28. We're down in one, 220 to go in the half, and it looks like Ole Miss will be punting it to Brown. We haven't broke a punt return for a touchdown yet this season. Let's see if this can be our first. Oh no, Brown, you gotta pick that up. Oh man, that would have been bad. And they're keeping Brown in as they have two backs in the backfield right now. This is his second offensive play of the season. Let's see if this is one he can get. He's never had the ball on offense. I mean, not going to get it here either. Providing some blocking downfield. That's 15 yards. And we got the score. Beautiful. Now it's 14 to 21, 118 left. Four seconds on the clock. We have an opportunity to make it a 17-21 game going into the locker room. Let's see if we can make this. This is a very short field goal. We missed the block completely. And 17 to 21. Oh, boy, they scored. This is... Not good. We're going to need a kick return for a touchdown. We need Brown to step up. Ugh. Come on, left side, left side. There we go. Ooh, this is perfect. This is my favorite position to receive a kick return. Oh, got to go. See you later down to the 50-yard line. That's what I'm talking about. And it looks like we're going to settle for a long three. Our offense is not moving the ball today. I, mean, I don't even know if we will be able to sink this. The wind is against our backside. Should give us a little bit of extra oomph here. And it is good. 20 to 28. Uh, our defense can't stop Old Miss's offense. It's going to be 35 to 20. Making this comeback real difficult. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. Brown's getting an opportunity. And when Brown gets opportunities, uh, good things happen. Uh, there it was kind of a wasted one. Wow, to end the third quarter, Ole Miss scores, and that's going to hurt. 42 to 20 in this SEC matchup. Not good. Come on. God dang it. Walker again? It's because you suck so much, Walker, that these teams keep kicking to you. Ah, I missed the block. Oh, my God. We're going to let him score again. We're going to lose by 31 points. And it's in. Kick it to Brown. Kick it to Brown. Kick it to Brown. Uh, yes. Okay, here we go. Let's work the left side, team. Team, 
No one was over there. Ah, uh, 29 point game, 4.55 to go in the game. This is, uh, this isn't looking too peachy. Brown underneath this punt, down at the 44. I mean, we're gonna have great field position. Trying to lower our head, 11 yards there. Wow, okay, they're trying to make it 52 to 20. Uh, where are we gonna send it? Send it! Okay, that didn't work. A 32 point game. This uh, <laughs> this is not how I expected this to go. Oh my God, this is deep. We're gonna take it up the right side. Come on guys, get over there and block. Ooh, that was good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Up still on our feet. Oh, down to the 49, come on. Finally, we gave them great field position three or four times today with our punts and kick returns. We finally capitalized, 52-27. I mean, a 25 point loss. If, if we go look at the, the game stats here, I mean, I'm guessing our running back did not get much production going. We need that starting job, 39 yards. Oh, that's for our quarterback. Oh, our running back had eight carries. For one, God, as soon as they say, I bet he didn't have a good game. 100 yards, two touchdowns. Oh, boy. Well, let's see what our receive, or our returning was. Okay, so 205 yards for Brown and six uh, returns, 34-yard average. That's good. And punt returning, 43 yards on five returns. I mean, not the best performance on the punt return game, but, I mean, come on. Give us that starting job. Now, we are playing an FCS team this week. If we can win this starting job, we could have a very big first game. Uh, let's go check how the SEC is going. So we're sitting at sixth in the SEC West at one and two in the conference. Texas A&M is ranked number one in the nation. They're five and zero. Oh. LSU lost one game. They're still ranked in the top 15. Mississippi State's back in the top 25. Alabama's in the top five. I mean, it, it's it's going to be interesting. I mean, I don't think we have a chance at the conference this year, but we got to turn things around. I mean, we beat Arkansas State. Um, but, I mean, we beat Arkansas, I should say, not Arkansas State. And hopefully we can stay above them. I really want to finish the season like 7-5 and five at least and uh, just to help out recruiting. But it's not looking good right now. So if we get 11,000 or 12,000 points, we have 11,000 right now, we'll be able to get 4 acceleration and 4 speed and plus 3 to our overall. This is something we really want. Uh, I wish we wouldn't have spent those points last time, but uh, we got to get this. All-American again. Let's see if we can win this position finally. Please, for God's sakes. Come on, baby. Let's do this. 15 plays, running the counter to start things off. We're going to lower our shoulder and try to break one, but we don't. QB slot option. Give it to Brown. That's what matters here. We don't have it. QB kept it. Of course he did. Ah, oh, not this play again. The coach's play calling decisions are horrible. Did we catch that? Did we just drop it? We dropped it. Of course, a screen pass where we can't even get behind our offensive linemen because we're like stuck on some train track. This isn't looking good. This is not looking good. We're doing so many option plays. We haven't given me the ball more than one time. So, I mean, God, maybe in the FCS game, I mean, they'll, we'll be winning by so much that I'll get some play time at least. Nine plays left. We need 820 points. I mean, we're going to have to absolutely go off, and that's not going to help. Our center just, like, handing or just giving up on the block here. Come on, 73. Get ahead of me! Block! There we go! Oh, that might give us a chance. Oh, my God. That didn't give us as much as I thought it would have. Okay, well, look at that. God, you're, like, on a stupid track, and you can't go anywhere. We need 400 points. We have six plays. And we're caught up from behind. Oh, my God, we broke it! And uh, lower our shoulder, we find nine yards. That gave us like 40 points. Come on, two broken tackles. And all you're gonna give us is 40 points? Ah, uh, stay on your feet. We gotta get the first down to get the points we need. 45 points, it doesn't matter if you break 15 tackles. If you don't get that first down, they're not giving you any points. Oh my God. A touchdown here, if we break it, that would give us the, the job. God dang it, the quarterback's gonna keep it though. We don't get anything for the quarterback keeping the ball. I mean, and that's the first touchdown we've ever broken in practice, and that play sucks, so god dang it! You guys are seeing this play calling. We're running to counter. The counter hasn't worked for us. Look at that. Caught up behind, and we're going to lose yards. And another fail. We're going to have to go to pro difficulty. It's not like being a quarterback and being able to make something happen. If I'm a halfback and they call option plays and I don't get the ball, or they call passing plays and I don't get the ball, and I only have 15 opportunities, then we're not going to get advanced. 900's a tough ask. We would need a couple of touchdowns. 
But in this game, obviously Kirk's signing with us. We're better than this team. Hopefully we get some reps in this one. Time to start this FCS game. Brown's going to be taking this one back here in Auburn. To the right side, the kick goes. And we have blockers. Oh, get to the inside. We're inside the 30, 35, 40, 45. Breaking one, almost to the 50. Beautiful return. Now, if we can win by enough points or take a lead by enough points, maybe we'll get some reps in this one. Our defense let them get to the 28. This is a 45-yard field goal attempt. If an FCS team makes a 45-yard field goal, I'm going to call shenanigans. What? Come on, kick it to Brown on the left. Okay, in the middle. Let's try to go left, guys. Come on, come on. No. No. Brown's still on his feet down to the 25. Field goal time. And 14 to 3. And we scored on defense. It's going to be 21 to 3. So we might have an opportunity. They're punting it. This game is well in hand. I mean, we need that 12,000 points to increase our speed and acceleration. I really want that boost. Let's see this one short. We don't get any experience really for returning these kicks unless they go for a touchdown. So, I mean, that's our only chance. And, I mean, that was a great punt return to the 50. I oh. What? They're going to get down here again? How? 21-10 to 10 against an FCS team? What is Auburn doing right now? Okay, it's a nail-biter of a game, but ooh, this one didn't even make it into the end zone. This could be a big one. Come on. Come on. Yep. We didn't have enough reaction, otherwise this would have been homed. It would have been housed. Oh my god. We might have a chance to run the ball in this one, boys and girls. Let's see what we do. I mean, we're not doing anything, so that's it. Gonna take a field goal here. Uh, pretty cool, trying to make it 24 to 10 in the second quarter against an FCS team. We're Auburn, we're almost 90 overall. And it's in. We're Auburn, we're Auburn. It's gonna be 17 to 24 against an FCS team. Ah, uh, Brown, Auburn needs you. <laughs> you gotta return this for a touchdown. The FCS school even has some fans in the audience. Their student section is packed. Ah, uh, that's not going anywhere. Finally, FCS is punting. They've been so electric on offense today. Let's see if we can house this one. And it's a short one, it's a short kick. This would be a long return. We're going to get to the right outside edge, and we're into their territory with an 18-yard return. Time to take the extra point. We need a bigger lead if we're going to get any reps. I don't get it. When that other running back was the second string back, he got like 10 carries a game. We have not gotten one carry as the second string halfback. Not even one pass to us. We haven't done anything on offense. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you didn't block him. Oh-ho-ho! -ho, Two-back situation. Going to have an opportunity to go catch a ball. Let's see if it's something we can make happen. Oh, yeah. That's right. Daddy Brown making it happen. 15 yards. That's what you're missing out on. And it's time to kick the extra point. There we go. That's a 21-point lead. Maybe in the second half we'll see some play time. House this kick. House this kick. And then we'll definitely see play time. And we'll be up by 28. Uh, are we even going to get a block on that dude over there? Probably not. Oh, we did. Oh, if I tried to go to the right side. Ah, we couldn't get out. That, that would have been gone. Oh, my God. They're going to get three points. It's only going to be an 18-point game. I, I guess it's FCS team. I thought we were definitely going to get play time. But not today. At least we had our first offensive play that we were actually involved in today. We got to receive the ball, uh, which is always nice. Oh, uh, got to go. Oh, yeah breaking it come on oh they caught up with us trying to make this a uh, 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 21 point game again couldn't quite get in the end zone against FCS their defense came in the clutch but it's 41 to 20 now another touchdown in this quarter might mean we get some play time in the fourth quarter please let's see they're gonna punt it off to Brown that's near the 35 at the 33 uh, oh yeah that was a good return 17 yards we are in the game guys and we are actually in a position where if this goes our way we'll get our first carry of our college football career didn't go our way so we're not gonna get our first carry but that's gonna go in for a touchdown that went in for a touchdown that was beautiful 
Okay, looking to make a 28 point lead here in the third quarter. We might be seeing the field soon. We're gonna let him score three for some reason. Our defense needs some work, man. They're almost 90 overall, but it just doesn't feel like that. Look how big this guy is that Brown's going up against. Okay, to the right side, the right hash. Can we take this up the right sideline? Yep, we get to that outside edge. And down at 29. They're keeping us in! But we're a blocking back in this situation, so I mean, not gonna get any action, but still, hey, we're in the game. That's <laughs> that's that's exciting. Let's see if we can pick up a good block. Ooh, that was getting. Ooh, that was a one-handed grab. That was beautiful. Ho ho ho! A little bit of read option. We're about to see here. Oh, end of third quarter. Wait, they're keeping us in. It's the play action. Okay, I'm excited. What are we gonna do here? Let's see, a little bit of play action. They fell for it. That should be a big play. And it is a big play, we're into FCS territory. A counter play, and we're the main halfback. This is going to be our first rushing attempt of our college football career. Now, I mean, it's against an FCS team, so I'm hoping for big things. Running men over, finding 12, that's our first carry. See that coach? Now obviously Auburn has done a lot of option, they've done a lot of passing, a lot of play action. So I mean, we're not like the main focal point here on this Auburn offense. Two yard reception, the power O, here we go. The power of, oh, here we go. Uh, uh, oh, oh, no, don't you catch me, don't you touch him. Ooh, finding eight yards, third down and one. Now Brown is a power back, this is definitely a situation for him. And this is why I thought we were gonna be in situational football a lot more at second string. We just haven't been utilized. But there we go, getting the first down on our third carry. Stamina's an issue, you know, played three plays or so, had to be sat down for a bit. Third down and two, another opportunity to get this first down, maybe even get in the end zone, man in motion from the left. And the ball is snapped, Brown is still on his feet, he gets the first down, and we're gonna hurry up. We're gonna give Brown an opportunity to score. Four carries, 26 yards, averaging nearly seven yards a carry. Trying to get in the end zone here. Quarterback sees something, making some adjustments. Man in motion from the left. And it's another handoff to Brown. Brown is gonna push his way in, and that's a two yard touchdown run. James Brown's first touchdown here on offense in college football. Beautiful, stood up by three guys, but still pushes his way in. That should help him get that upgrade he desperately needs with speed and acceleration. And we still have a 32 point lead, so I'm guessing he's gonna stay in. Four minutes to go in this game. Kicking it out to Brown. He's gonna return this one. Trying to get to the right outside. Cutting it all the way upfield. Down at, and still going to the 43. He's got 28 yards carrying today, or rushing I should say. Let's see what he does here. First down, it looks like they're gonna give him an opportunity. Brown is excited to have this chance. He's been battling. Ooh, was that a full start? I mean, I'm not sure. It looked like one. But they're not gonna call it, that's 10 yards and we're into FCS territory. Six carries, 40 yards nearly today, and a touchdown. You gotta be happy with that production because you know sometimes our starter rolls will only have 30 or 40 yards in a game with like 20 carries. And there's another 10 yards, actually 11. Brown is a tough running back, you know, just lowering the shoulder, obviously FCS team. Uh, you have to expect him to be able to perform against a team of this caliber. But wow, he's just, he's just looking very good out there, making smart cuts. Reading the lanes really well. Took him out for a bit, was a little bit gassed, but now it's time for a third and eight. And the dreaded screen pass. I'm gonna try to cut it all the way left, and look at this. It's, there's just no chance of really doing anything. Fourth down and 10, going for the three points here to make it, I guess, a 35 point game. And gonna pick up the block, and that one is good. They're gonna be punting it out to Brown again. Let's see what we can do here. Trying to hype this crowd up. I mean, obviously this isn't an exciting game. It's against a team that really doesn't matter. Oh, there we go. Come on, if we had a little bit more speed, we would have been gone. That's why that speed upgrade's so important to me. I really, really want to get that. Because if we do, we will be deadly on the kick and punt returns. And are a little bit more deadly. I shouldn't say deadly. Okay, we're in motion. We're gonna take this one, but we're gonna lose yards. We lose one. Averaging six yards per carry. This is going to be our 10th carry of the game. Pushing our way forward, we find seven. And that is the end of the game. We actually got to play some reps. 10 total handoffs, and we I think we had one reception or two receptions. 
I mean, not an electric game by any means, but I mean, we did it. We won, we beat FCS, we got some reps in, and now we just have to worry about winning that first string position. Five total touchdowns for our quarterback today, though. So Brown had 10 carries for 61 yards. Rawls had eight carries for 37. So it just goes to show you the production a little bit. Brown did have a touchdown as well. And if we go to receiving, we did have, I think, two receptions. We lost three yards on one, but 14 total yards, not bad out of the backfield. We can afford it, and we're going to get it. 85 overall with 87 speed and 87 acceleration. That is a much needed upgrade. The biggest game of the season, and I've said that a lot, but this is Texas A&M. They're ranked number one. They're undefeated. If we look here, obviously, this is a game we could win. We're both B plus overall. They have a little bit better offense, but otherwise we're pretty evenly matched. Now this is at Texas A&M, and Kirk is siding with them, but if we win this, that could be huge for Auburn. But we need to win that starting position first. And here we go. <laughs> Done. If I don't win this position now, I'm going to be very, very upset. And to start this practice off, we're running up the... Oh, we don't even have the ball. God dang it. We need 750 points now because our overall improved. So I guess we probably wouldn't have even needed to really move to this difficulty. But God. Here we go. Counter play, baby. Let's open it up against this freshman difficulty. Oh, okay, nothing. Running up the middle? This should uh work, am I right? Nope. Man in motion and no, yeah, see you later. Can we break one more? Can we can we break five more? Can we break a hundred more? We've broken two tackles. We're amazing. Okay, we have an opportunity now to win this position from rolls. And we're not gonna get that opportunity here. All I wanna do is start in the Texas AM game. Can you give me that, please? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we'll see ya later. So we won the position, eight plays to go, finally. You know, we've been fighting for this position for weeks now, weeks upon weeks, and oh, we just get laid out. We have to make sure we have some good games too, because I don't want to lose this position. So we have to produce every game we start. Okay, taking this up. Oh, looking very cheeky. Brown gets in, five more plays to go. We're just padding the stat book at this point. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this makes me feel good, but I'm on freshman difficulty, so I feel sad. Buck sweep. Let's sweep another touchdown just into the books. And then we got to go back on practice mode, at least on varsity for practice or All-American for practice from this point forward. No more Wildcat. I mean, obviously opportunity to keep the ball here. And we're gone. We are gone. If only practice was always this easy. Two more plays to go. Cutting up the middle. Cutting to the outside. Trying to turn on the Jets here. We break one. Pushing our way into the 15. Uh-huh. Yep. Got it. Gonna check, body check somebody. That's another great play. Great progress. And we won the position. Look at that. Starter. That feels good. Machine go. I want to get this. It's only 4,000 points. Two speed, one strength, two acceleration. That'll give us 89 acceleration, 89 speed, and a little bit of agility. Triple check's really good, but it's it's quite expensive and it's not much different than machine go so that's what we're saving for and just so i don't forget and i'm going to show it on camera we're going to put this back on heisman difficulty there we go but next episode guys we're going to be taking on number one texas a and a win in that game could be in a total totally different landscape in the sec and also a, a, an opportunity for us maybe to be in the top 25 in the next few weeks you know we have some very difficult opponents coming up but if you guys enjoyed hit that like button subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new and until next time peace out